Hello viewers, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the six of pentacles. The word generosity comes, but greatly because it's generosity coming from the divine, from the universe. You see here the symbol of eternity or the number eight symbol there behind those pentacles that are being given to the hand. So it seems that the universe is showering you with a lot of blessings at this time. Don't forget to share it to others also. Okay, so uh, generosity goes uh, sort of like uh, if you are a generous soul, for example, uh, I always have that principle of an open faucet. When the faucet is open, more water passes through it, especially if the source is an unlimited source, which is the divine. So when the divine sees that you are a generous soul, then more graces will come your way because the, the divine knows that it will not only benefit you but also those around you. So in a certain sense, when as you receive all these beautiful blessings from the divine, don't forget to share it to those, especially those who are in need of assistance at this time. Uh, a little sharing of the gifts will allow the divine to pass more graces your way when you give gen give generously to others it returns a hundredfold okay it's like um what you give out to the universe will come back to you in a greater amount so if you send out negative energies then uh, yeah the law of karma will bring negative energies back to you if you send out positive energy, then more positive energies will come your way. Now, try to see how this resonates with you. But at this time, it seems that the Divine is generous, generously showering you with gifts. Now, let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, <clears throat> I feel that the important Thing here with the card of the king of pentacles is to appreciate the gift oftentimes we are detached from the gifts it's good also to be detached from the gifts we receive but uh, not to the extent wherein we do not appreciate anymore the good gifts that we receive from the divine learning to appreciate the gifts that we receive from the divine allows us to be aware that we are constantly assisted, we are constantly accompanied, we are constantly loved. So it's very important for us also to have a thankful spirituality, to appreciate each gifts that we receive from the divine, from the smallest to the little to the biggest ones, from the littlest to the most from the most insignificant to the most significant ones. So appreciate everything, even the smallest ones. Try to develop that habit of saying thank you, okay? The word thank you seems to be coming right now. Don't forget to say thank you. Whether the <clears throat> kindness comes straightly to you from the divine or it comes through mediaries or mediaries from comes through other people, don't forget to say thank you also to the people who are conduits of the graces of the divine so these are very beautiful positive cards it teaches us to be open to receive to appreciate the gifts and at the same time to share from the abundance that we receive now let's try to see what is the advice of the universe for us we have here the eight of swords you need not have to worry it's like the universe is saying uh, Try not to worry too much. 
if, especially if you have some little things that you need to attend to like for example certain commitments that you need to meet like certain payments you have to make don't worry it's as if the universe is saying we are busily untying all those little tangles the universe is trying in the background to remove all those things that causes you anxiety they are solving your problems now actually they are already giving what you need in order to handle these commitments so for if you have certain commitments to pay like for example certain uh, bills you have to pay don't worry the universe will create situations so that you will be freed from the anxiety these worries bring so it's such if the universe is saying don't worry I know you feel uneasy because you are not sure of how the outcome will be everything will turn out to be fine because we are working in the background so this will require a leap of faith if you believe that things will be provided for and everything will turn out to be just fine it will remove the anxieties that might be lurking inside you so it's like the universe is saying at this time relax uh, be aware of these anxieties and let them go remove these little strings we are trying to remove it for you cooperate with us help us to remove all these strings because we are working to solve all these problems for you you just do your part and entrust the rest to the divine okay let's now go to insights at twilight Every step counts. Very nice, it says here. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Okay. So try not to worry. Just take it one step at a time. Maybe one of those things that causes you anxiety at this time is because you are inundated with a lot of things in your mind inundated by a lot of responsibilities you need to attend to uh, take it one step at a time maybe it will help if you list them down in paper write it okay these are the things i need to do for this month okay or these are the things i need to do for today i remember in the gospel in the gospels jesus said uh, today has enough worries for you i remember also in one of those books that i read uh, about worries is live in daytight compartments okay the worries of today is enough for you so uh, just take it one step at a time you nibble it like an ant nibbling an elephant uh, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step so take it one step at a time uh, like for example here with the eight of swords she couldn't see the whole picture so just take one step what you can do you do and then afterwards the next thing that you can do you do so just take it one step at a time use the wisdom of of the king of pentacles uh, the king of pentacles the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles knows that the journey towards success takes time so yeah he has time also to sit down and relax he has time to sit down and contemplate on the problem but the important thing here is to believe that the universe is working in the background they will help you with all the assistance you need and just take one step at a time every step counts if you work on it just one step right now and then the next step sooner or later 
you will realize you've gone a long way already so just take it one step at a time try not to worry about things that you still cannot handle at this moment and trust it to the divine and trust it to the universe they are working on it just do on what you can do right now oftentimes because the universe is working in the background by the time you get to that portion the other portions that causes you anxiety by the time you get there many of them have already been accomplished by the universe or it has been already simplified to the point where it is easy for you to solve it so just do what you can do right now and trust the rest to the divine and then after you've done this one take the second step so one step at a time well that's it for today i hope you were able to benefit from our reading Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you next time. Until that moment, may God continue to bless your ways.